Hey friends, how are you doing? Uh, thank you very much guys for commenting on my YouTube channel. I really love you guys for what you guys are doing for me as always P. Now, I just would like to uh, start with this. I have a friend of mine who happened to comment her down. Uh, I think he's just few, I'll simply say few, and I say call few, few days back. He happened to comment on my YouTube channel, uh, basing on this system here for uh, this system here. So this is his information. Say, how can someone create such a database? Now, and I happened to tell him that uh, we can make as many possible. This is a little information I happened to say. So this is what I happened to tell him that it is possible, my friend, if you are interested. Then I'm going to upload more of my systems and you get to look at them. So that's it all. What happened to say to you? And if you need any, I can make for you one. Just send in your order. So I really love to make order for people. So I do make systems for uh, different groups of people. And if you guys are interested in my system, then I would like you guys to uh, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now I happen to come with another system today. Uh, the system last time I happened to make here is for uh, say primary, always be primary school. Now here today I have my client who's called today Kawanda Senior Secondary School. So this is my client today, the one I'm happy to make for this system. Or for this system that today I'm going to show you how to make one or how I happen to come up with. So at the same time I'm going to show you here down are my databases so these are my databases these are all my tables the database called student R system so this is the all the tables I have so if you come here I give assumption I'm just going to show you something later uh, this is the login panel whereby you can log in as OSP like that and then this is just for checking for logging in so this is for reset uh, the login panel if I happen to come and say OSP, and I say OSP, uh, just to, to refresh the page, this council does that. So let's just come back in here and try to log into the system. As always, when I click in enter, I think you can see how many login, how many, how many system. And I've logged in as administrator. That's what I have to let you know. So this is the menu of the page. And my system it works in a smartphone. Too. so you can also use it in a smartphone view that implies anyone who wants it it's responsive 100 percent responsive that implies it can work in smartphones just like any other app or otherwise I can even compile it with uh, Android app to make it as an app now if I can check here I have this panel for system V system users which is here so far is showing two system users that implies you can add one so if I click here I can add the system user I give assumption to YouTube YouTuber if that's a system user I'm just going to say YouTuber uh, YouTube just like that I enter his other name so I'm just going for, for I'm just going to share this onto YouTube YouTube and the contact I can just provide any and then here there are different types of how you can set that person so I can say maybe it's going to be maybe uh, maybe senior one teacher I upload this photo so I'm just going to pick any photo here let me take that so if you check here give the password maybe the password is going to be one two three or I just call the password to be you tube maybe you tube to confirm so if I click here and successfully we should get this message that the system user record is added successful and if you try to cross check here we so far have three people added into our system so that implies we have so far three people into our system and if i click here we should be in a position to see those people into the system and you can delete that person if you want the same thing if you come back to our database and i show you the stuff actually the system uh, users which is the login you will find that detail we have happened to add is there now 
So we have this one here whereby a system type of that person is this. So I'm just taking you to the architecture design very fast, which I have these details here into my system. So these are the details that you guys should take care of whenever you maybe tend to make that kind of system. So that's it. So if I check again back here, uh, that's it. So I can delete this. If I just click delete, I think you can see that user is deleted automatically or successfully. And even the system updates in automatically. So if you check here in the database, if I try to refresh, that person of number nine who's in Uganda, actual YouTube, is no longer part of us now. So if you check again back here, that's part's done. So if you come back in here on the menu, uh, I can take you to something little. So let's also add maybe a staff member. So the staff member can also add in successfully the same way. So if I come and click here, add staff member, maybe it's YouTube, or let me just say YouTube, YouTuber, other name maybe David. If that's the other name, just take that and check the, if the nationality is not, not among this, you can just add it from here, uh, add in here from nationality. So if you want, you just pick that one there. Maybe this is the place where the person is. Maybe why you say the date of birth, you can pick any and just edit that, maybe to that, if that's the case. Then the religion, maybe is born again or Catholic or Islam or is a Protestant. But I like born again because I'm among them. So you pick any of here. Maybe Catholic, pick that. So class to teach, maybe you're adding a staff member. Class to teach. If it's non-teaching staff, then you just click a non-teaching staff. You get so if a teacher so I can just say maybe he's gonna teach senior he's gonna teach senior one and senior two which subject is gonna be teaching biology senior one and biology senior two so if that's the case then just come in here and provide the details of the phone number of the contact select the gender of that person maybe this time around the person is male or female so you just come down here and upload the photo of that person so when I click here, I can just pick any photo of that person. Maybe that's the photo. So when I click down here where they say add, you just share this very fast. Where they say add what? Add, add stuff. When I click there, I think you can see system uh, staff members are successful and the system refreshes. And if you check also here, the staff members, so far there are three. And when you click that, that's it, my friend. So we already have our staff member added to the system successfully. So we can print the details of that teacher of that staff member just like that and when you click down here we already have this information so this one just pick from the database uh, where I will have this uh, details here if you check very well I have this the staff member here whereby this is the very details of which we have just happened adding right now so this is it I think even you can see the photo things like that so that's the person we just happen to add into the detail into the database and if you can print you can print this one alone or this format just like maybe i've seen so we can print that details of that person like that or you can print in this format so that implies for someone who will be using a smartphone will be printing it like this so you don't need to print i made everything be responsive you can view like this but if you want to print into your smartphone so that even you get access using smartphone then you'll just print from here like that and then that detail will be there whereby when you click save definitely will be the size of a4 no matter which media you'll be using so this is the details of the person you happen to do to create it. so if you come back in here i go back here again so i've been using this part here so if you try to say i want to print his identity card so if I want to print this identity card, this is what will happen. If you remember here again when I was trying to click there, we could pick the details of that person if the subject is teaching and it's separated by a comma. I hope you guys can see that as a witness from what I'm trying to say. Uh, with a comma here separating that a uh, person's details. And even the time of registration, the phone number, even the gender, and even the staff ID card. Don't forget that because it's going to be part of the system. So if you come back here again, I just try to show you here a little a bit of this system. If I come back and say print identity card, I just click there and I think you can see the staff identity card is generated. So here is asking for 
he has given one known as the Kawanda Senior Secondary School. Now, don't care about, don't worry about these two photos being here down. You know, it's kind of confusing, but I calculated it very well. The parameters are okay, don't worry, because when you go to print, it will go to the actual distance, actual width, uh, very well. I tend to float this part, and I didn't float clear floating this one, so that can go to the actual distance. But don't worry about that, because although I leave it, or I tend to float it, it will still work out away. And if you check here, we have the staff name, which is this on YouTube, YouTube David. That's the name we gave. They saw the teachers, senior one and senior two, if you remember. And if you remember, the staff ID is that, if you don't forget. If you check from our system here, the staff ID is four. So if you check very well, if you check the subjects teaching is biology, the religion is Catholic, though the religion don't need an ID, and that's it. So if you click here, uh, that's what you have to generate. So the expiry date, the issue date is that, and the expiry date is that. So the subject, the person's teaching is biology. So the teacher, the, the, the classes you will be teaching or tend to teach is senior one and senior two. So this is the end part of the the the, the ID card. If you try to click it down to print, the system should be in position to uh, print for us the entire stuff like that for that particular or particular. Uh, staff member so if you come back in here of our part, part of the system uh, if you tend to come in this part of the system we have we have this for for students so that implies you can also print a student record alone so this is student details maybe we have something we want to find about that student we can print that data very fast for this any person concerned who need that student that's it so the same way happen to add the staff members the same way add the student uh, details just like that so this is student data and if you also come and print we can also print the staff the student oh, sorry the student id card so when you click there with the student id card you need the id of the mean you need the photo the logo of the school and then the student photo so if i click print remember like i said to you everything is calculated so so to take care of that just like that so that's good so if you shake that students of senior four and the id number is three so if you come back in here we have parents so you click here on the parents we have the first one which is the father and if you come on the father the student id number which is three is through the other various child which is all we did which is ariam joffrey which even cross check on their photo is the same thing and the details just like that so that's the details of the, the, the student. So if you come back in here, we have the mother details, and still maybe just click down here. And if you want to come and print the mother's details, just don't forget the ID number of the child should be corresponding with the child you want to pick the data off. So you can print the parents like this, and if you click here, you shall be printing the parent with the child, and corresponding with the ID number of the child, just like that. So if you don't want to do that, you can just print also the ID of the child and the parent by clicking in here and say print the ID. And that's it. So this is the ID number of the ma parent, mother, and this is the one for the child. So when you click here print, the system should be in a position to print for us the ID number of that particular child or that particular student and with the details. So if you don't forget this is the student, the class, the child is in the senior form. And if you try to look, the, the term is senior, is second term, and issue date, blah, blah, things like that. So if that system tends to be good for you, I think you guys can now say, oh, the system is good. So this, we have other particular parts that the system is having, but I just tend to use this time to demonstrate for you a few, because I never want to need to reach up to 30 minutes. So we have to, we can view this students and we can add more data, which is good. And we have the examination, where with the examination will be just the same as the other last time you saw in the system. So we have the examination, we have the transcript of the result slips, we have the identity card, which identity card in this part of the system, it will be corresponding uh, with this part down here, where we can generate the identity card, where we can generate the identity card for a particular stu patient, I mean student, here down. So that's it, my friends. And if you check down here, we also have other thing called medical forms. So the medical form should be corresponding with the student ID, and if possible, yeah, the same details. So we also have here the messages whereby 
the staff can be talking to another staff member as long as the staff member is online which we shall be seeing at this part of the system later on so you guys if this system is so good for you then i just wish one thing i can send this entire system to you as long as you can pay only 500 us dollars uh, for this uh, system so if you're interested in my system just shake me up if you're in uganda my contact or my phone details i can provide it to you right now just shake you down and i try to give you uh the contact details of any one of you who might be interested in my system for uh, any of you who's interested in my system my contact details uh i just request you guys you call me only for reason for the system don't call me for any other other stuff so let me just try to pick this and try to tell you this give me my contact uh, for any of you in Uganda, you can just call me with uh, with this. Just try to provide that to you verify 070 44 87 56 3. So any of you any of you is interested to contact me, just contact me there. If you know you guys need my system, you can just contact me straight from there. No matter which country you're from, you can just call me there and you make the order for this system if you're interested. Or if you want one, just call me there. Or you can just email me with my email address, which is osp 123 ugi at gmail.com. At gmail.com. So, uh, I may just add you another phone number of mine still. So seven two seven one six. So that's my number. So any of you is also interested, please just contact me also in this number. Or you can use this one here. The one I happen to apply to you first. So my friends, to all of you guys who need to, to reach me. Feel free to reach me at any time of your choice. Uh, feel free to reach me, contact me. If long as you need the system, we can always talk about it. And any of you is interested in learning, you can also go to my YouTube channel and look up introductory videos. Then you guys are interested in making systems, you can make arrangement with me. We can always uh, find a way of we meeting up and to learn then you guys can also check on my my email address mean on my website uh just reach out on my website at sorry you can also reach at my website as osp pro dot zero zero uh, web host app dot com you can just reach most of there though there's not much details there though it will be just showing you the list of the videos which will then link you back to youtube so guys i've given all what you need to know me so just get time if you're interested in my system please subscribe to my channel then secondly any of you want this system or any system you want me to make for you just contact me and then find a way of you send me my money because i'll be making for you a system and i can email you a system back as an image or as I can mail it to you in a zip form. So guys, thanks for watching. Or oh, I can tend to uh, I can tend to host it for you. Then I provide for you the details of your uh, files. If maybe that's what you want. So guys, thanks for watching my video. If you guys are interested, then I wish you a nice time. Make sure you share this channel to your friends. I uh, thank you all. Love you all. Thank you guys. God bless you.